Here's a quick demo to show that our real-time collaborative technology actually works. So the first time you run NovaCut, um, you'll see something like this right now. Uh, this is if you install NovaCut 11.11 .11 from the NovaCut stable releases PPA. That's PPA colon NovaCut slash stable. So what's doing is downloading the um, video assets that we used for the demo. Um, should be fairly fast. And we showed this off at UDS on a couple of laptops sitting next to each other. And unfortunately, we were um, pretty busy with things and never got a video of that. So I'm going to show it to you now through a screencast. Um, so here's you know the familiar looking stuff. Um, if you hold your mouse over a frame, you can adjust the starting and ending frames. If you hold shift and um, mouse wheel at a step in 10, 10 frame increments. Um, so, you know, that's all, that's all pretty cool. But now, I'm going to blow your mind. So if you open a ter terminal and type DC3 space futon, um, that's DC3 space capital F-U-T-O-N, and you will have to set uh, your default browser to Chromium for this to work. There's a small bug in Firefox. So this will um, take you to the familiar catch the futon UI. Um, this part will be random, so uh, it's not going to be the same for you when you run it, but... Um, and then if you type... So we're, you're going to change the URL to be underscore apps apps slash um, novacut slash index oops, dot html. And wow, look at this. So over here, we have NovaCut, which is a native application using embedded um, WebKit GTK. On, and over here, we have <clears throat> standard Chromium browser. And if I make changes, you'll see that these changes are, you know, they happen in one place and then the other place. Um, for some reason, shift mouse wheel isn't working in Chromium, but I don't know what's going on with that. But, um, so how this is working is um, the NovaCut UI saves the edit state in CouchDB. And then the UI also listens to the CouchDB changes feed. Um, and that's how uh, these changes are being replicated between the browser and the native application just through a single locally running CouchDB. But you can connect multiple CouchDBs together into a big synchronized fabric. Um, and it works across the internet also. Um, and yeah, uh, but you know, exact same UI, no modification to the UI code even. And part of the reason we're building NovaCut this way is so that we can make your edit available online so you can access it through any device with a modern browser, which we think is gonna be very cool. Um, although not the way you're gonna do serious editing probably, but um, the option's nice. So yeah, there, that's the demo, thanks.